Well, hey, 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 and welcome to another Tech Tuesday, yay, 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 yay. As you can see, it's a gloomy day here in Jacksonville, Florida, but it's a beautiful, bright, shining day in our hearts because it is Tech Tuesday. And today, for all of you X32, M32 people, we're gonna do a real quick video on how to get more inputs on your X32, uh, and you'll see why I say more inputs in just a little bit here. But we're gonna talk about uh, how to do an auxin remap and uh, soft patching, two topics that we have briefly gone over in previous videos, but never really gone over specifically. Um, so we're gonna hop into that really, really quick here. So the X32, M32, whatever 32 you have, um, is a 32 channel board, but really it's a 40 input mixer. Um, but 32 of those channels are what we would call full processing, meaning that on top of having an EQ, they have a gate, a compressor, uh, an insert point, and input delay options on them. But there are another eight channels on the board, as we see here, the aux inputs. Um, now, two of these are always going to be your USB left and right, which to me is useless, but it is what it is. Um, but these other six have a little bit more flexibility to them. As a default, they are routed to the quarter inch and RCA inputs on the back of your mixer. But you can flex that a little bit by using an aux in remap. So let's, let's hop onto that. So I'm gonna click on the routing tab. If you're on the actual board, that's gonna be the routing tab that is uh, uh, next to the screen underneath the home button. As I mentioned earlier, our main 32 inputs are gonna come from our digital snake. But what we're looking at here today is this section right here that says aux in remap. Again, as a default, it says aux ends, meaning aux one through six are receiving aux inputs one through six. But we can change those in groups of two, four, or six. So on here, I'm gonna go down and select the option for local one and two. You'll see there's local one and two, one through four, one through six, and the same for AES50A, B, card, and user inputs. But we're gonna just do local one and two. Um, and in this hypothetical example, we have four things plugged into the back of our board. Um, we have a uh, stereo pair for our ProPresenter computer or whatever kind of lyric software you're using, um, a stereo pair for um, an aux input, meaning um, for me it's usually an iPad that I have music playing on, so between services I've got something playing to keep things interesting. Um, but we have two open inputs, which we're gonna use for local one and two. So, looking back at our mixer here, um, again, if we put those on right now, aux one and two are listening now to the XLR inputs one and two on the back of the board instead of aux one and two. Those are just not hooked up anymore. Um, but the problem is, in this example, I'm hooking up some wireless microphones and I definitely want compression and I probably want an insert point because I may want to put a de on those microphones. So I can't keep them here in the auxiliary channel sections or else I won't have those. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to swap those with soft patching for a couple channels in our main one through 32. So in this, again, hypothetical example, I have on the stage boxes on stage, I've got channels 31 and 32 um, are being plugged into uh, from room microphones, ambience mics. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap those out. So I'm gonna click on channel 31. I'm going to click the home tab um, next to the, uh, the, the screen so I can see all the information on the screen. And then I'm gonna go over to the config tab and then from here, you're going to go to your source. You can see as a default, it's going to input 31, which happens to be AES50A31. And we're gonna change that to aux1, which you can see now says N01 next to it. So that's local input one. So we're gonna select that. Uh, and we're gonna do the same thing for channel 32. We're gonna go down to aux2, which you can see says N02. And let's go ahead and label them so we're gonna do one Vox, two Vox, and then let's make them green just for fun here. Cool, okay, so now moving on to the aux page, we need to put our room mics over on here. 
Um, so we're going to take aux1 and select it. Again, go to your config tab and now change this from aux1 to input 31. And for aux2, we're going to change that to input 32. Now, if I was actually connected to an actual console with an actual digital snake right now, you would also see uh, the um, uh, polarity, I'm sorry, not polarity, uh, the phantom power option on here. But because I'm just doing this on the app, that's the only reason why you're not seeing that. But now your room mics would be routed to aux one and two and everything would be all good. So again, we'll go ahead and, and name those. We got room left, room right, and we'll make those red. And then again, you should be plugging your computer into input three. We're skipping one and two, so that we'll have computer left, computer right, and then aux left and aux right. And you're done. So now you have 34 things plugged into your board, not including your computer and uh, your aux input between your 32 on stage and your two uh, on the actual board. And there you go, you got 34 things. So I hope that's been helpful for you. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.